inside the dragon. I've done a lot of things with dragons. Being inside a dragon isn't one of them. Is this me, or is unfairly hot and humid here? What's with, with the dragon? With that way with the dragon bunny I'm on. I sure see all sorts of gruesome things down here. Let's hope I don't lo oh, lose my lunch. Think we're really gonna find that dragon orb in here, Amy? I just want to find the dragon and get the heck out of here. I don't want to be in here any longer than I have to. Another infinity stone! Jeez Louise! Jeez Louise, I think that's enough. Okay, crystal. Yep, and what's the other one? Holy bonus. Okay, camera's being a little wonky right here. Blue demon scroll. Some light inside of it for some reason. And what's in here? Vengeance slip. Ugh. These things are worth 10 grand and they're giving me so many of them. I don't know if, the, that, that, if I qualify that as diminishing value or not. So ride that water spout. Ride that water spout. Nope. Demon scroll. Oh. Yeah, oh. Eh, this won't take long, especially with my combo up. That didn't take long. What? At all. Seriously, I was sh just shaking the weird mode and just standing there. Put up a fight next time! But it gave me 52 or 20, so I really can't complain. Steel so Soul Sockage. That's gonna be handy. You know, I'm wondering something. I'm pretty sure that it's possible, but I just wonder how, how broken you'd be if you could have both a steel soul and and um a, a steel fist. I think it was called. Well, regardless, you get my point. And geez, the way I forgot how correct this thing is with its movement. I've done that in the first place. I really should have just done that in the first place. Hey, we're almost there. Someone tells me we're coming up to a boss, though. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The sight of an origin mirror kind of tipped me off. What? A key? Shoot. I, I never saw a key or anything like that around here. Hmm. What's this? A crystal... Um... Okay, creepy, and... Just some yen. But again, I do like it when a game rewards my, rewards my sense of curiosity. Because I'm naturally curious. Something is off, I often find myself checking it out. When reason I got hooked on the Metroid series so much. Was that a healing spring? Or yeah, it's a healing spring. Nice. Um, let's see. Where to look? Okay, riding water up to the top and see what's inside the clam. Ahem, <laughs> the clam. There we go. And it's a steel fist socket. Shoot, where am I supposed to be headed?
Where's a key when you need one? Sorry, I had an itch. I hate how sensitive the control is, but dodging and attacking. Honestly, it hurts. Wait, this one's tall? and I'm slip medium. But still, this is annoying. Why do I need a key in a place like this? This is not a dungeon. This is a mini dungeon, if anything. I mean, granted, the Sunken Ship had, had door and needed a key as well, but still, it's irksome. Ugh, I don't have time to waste on you. I'll just leave and use a traveler's charm. And I dumped me in the water. Thanks. But I should probably use that traveler's charm because I learned my lesson from the last time. If I don't balance it out, it's going to bite me in the butt. Okay then. Me. What happened there? Okay then. This is a tough nut to crack. I don't see any hidden areas on my map. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. I don't have time to deal with you. Oh, that's where the key was. Yeah, I can. T yeah, I know I cut out twice in the same episode, but still, that's still a bit irksome that they put the key in the last place you think to look, or at least the last place I think to look. But nevertheless, we have it now, so let's go destroy that lock. Jump! And let's move. Okay, I did not use that orange mirror. I'm probably gonna save after either the inevitable boss fight or after I just get the war dragon to spew out the whole dragon orb. I don't know why, it just amuses me seeing the lock freak out and then die and what the heck is that? Hmm? What's that? It's all tangled up in some flabby stomach muscle. Looks like a glass ball or something. Okay. How am I gonna do this? Bah! Won't budge! Our dragon sir doesn't want to get this thing up. This is something really important. It's gotta be the dragon orb. Let's see. Is there any... Let's sit down this path. Maybe there's something over here. Okay, up. Uh, camera's spazzing out a bit. Hey, when a game does that, just has the camera completely spaz out. A dead end? I don't know where we are now. But I don't like the look of that red liquid there. It's probably just digest us every second we'll fall into it. I don't want to be digested. Still, it's liquid. I'm gonna be sick. Look at that hunk of tissue. Looks like it keeps a lid on that disgusting liquid. Yeah, it's all squishy squashy. What's that bright red liquid keeps falling from me? Would you stop messing around, Furball? You're grossing me out. Oh! I seem to do something. What the heck are you doing? The red liquid is raining down now. Well, if the flesh mass dissolves. Hmm, I think I'm interested too. Let's find out what happens if that flesh mass dissolves. Eh? 
Ew. Well, at least it seemed to have done something. What the? Oh, place is flooded with an icky red liquid. You can't find that dragon orb. That's a fine. That's end up lunch. That's not panicky soon. If it's, let's see. Yes, I can still make water lilies. Oh, okay. I gotta be very careful. One wrong move, and I'm toast. Oh, and the camera spazzing isn't exactly helping. I'm just gonna gale storm. There we go. Instead of trying to make more boats, I'm just gonna ride. I guess that's what this area was designed for. Ugh, Galestorm can be quite finicky. I know I've complained a lot, but still. Let me let me see let me see something. Yeah, Galestorm can be quite finicky. There we go. Yeah, seriously, it's quite picky on how it wants to be drawn, and I don't like that. I thought that would be one of, one of my favorite abilities, but it ends up being one of the most frustrating to pull off. As soon as I say it, too. There we go. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to have to make another one. And Amy is now naked. Ah! Oh, it wasn't that just instantly. That's a relief. Now, let's try using this. Hmm, sort of doesn't seem to like that. Serious? Come on, one more. Alright then. That does that. Whoa, what the? Okay. That must be, yeah, that's gotta be the dragon orb. Sweetness. You obtained dragon orb. Nice work, Amy. You finally got that dragon orb. Now we should be able to break the barrier at Oni Island. Once Himiko locates the island on her crystal ball, the enemy's stronghold will be totally exposed. Boy, you sure had a hard time pulling that orb out. I wonder if the dragon's gonna be okay. Let's go, Amy. I mean, we got the orb. Now you're sticking around here. Someone doesn't feel right here. Oh! Why do I have to be right? And why did I have to say there was an inevitable, inevitable boss fight? What the heck? Are these vengeful spirits of the people that the dragon gobbled up? No, wait. These aren't spirits. That weird color could only mean one thing. Foxfire! Whoa! Epic Amaterasu! Seriously epic. Foxes? Oh, this is interesting. But they won't last long. Okay, not the boss battle I was expecting. Whoa! That didn't that's not doing as much damage as I thought it would. Ouch, dang it. Okay, let's slow you down. <laughs> I love the power to slow down time. So practical in combat, and it slows them all down just by drawing it on one. Oh, that one's done. Okay, one down. I, I love these rosary beads. Oh, that one's done. Ah. Oh, that one's done. And I'm out of ink. Shoot. Oh, now I got more ink. Thank you. Thank you for the kind generation. Kind generation? Kind donation. I I was trying to say generous and donation. And thank you, generation. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. And he's dead. Thank God. 
still. That was bizarre. What the? More? Ouch, dang it. Ah. Slow you down. Stay down! And look at that god hook go up! 83 combo! My god hook's at level 2. Okay, only 3 left. But thanks to being able to slow them down, it's, this is hardly difficult. And I can rack up a huge combo by basically doing nothing. Thank God I got Rose, Rosary Arm again. I got Rose, or Spirit Arm again, my bad, not Rosary Arm again. Shoot! You know what, I think an Infinity Stone might be useful here. Especially since I got five of them, so there's no really like, waste. Seventy-eight combo, and he's now. Ahem, he's now dead. One left. Yep. Slow you down. Just the power of an Infinity Stone. Simple, yet broken. Just having unlimited ink can break the game. I'm going to insult you. And I get Demon Fang for doing it. And let you start. Perfect. And dead. Okay, that's the last one. Whew. 18,120 yen. Not bad. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, good. The seal's broken. From both ends. Whoa, what the heck? New weapon! You obtained Fox Rods. Oh wait, that's what we're looking for with the sunken ship! What the heck was that? It was kind of freaky. Looked like a bundle of bamboo tubes or something. I know, I bet those are Fox Rods! That must be Babe wanted. You know, the ultimate weapon against the Dark Lord? Huh? Um, I don't like rumbling when we're inside someone. That can use- that usually spells trouble. Ah, I knew it! You should have tried to pull that orb out more gently. Uh oh. <laughs> Amy! I'm too young to be digested! Let's get out of here! You said it! By the way, I like how this game has a kind of a quirky sense of humor, like a Amy's occasional poses, like that one. Her having like that care. Every look on her face, the wagging of her tail, and I need to get the heck out of here. Oh. I would end up the episode here, but no, just no. I'd rather get out where it's safe, especially since I'm under a time limit! I like being able to air to attack in the air to prolong my air time. It, it's nice. It's something I like doing. Good, there's the exit. Um. Come on, come on, punch it, punch it, punch it. Seriously, the game decided to pull a Metroid on us as building a Zelda style. God, what would they think of next? Is he okay? Jeez. Water dragon. It's dead. I killed a dragon? Oh, how will I get, how will I get over this? And, oh, I killed a dragon. Ah, what are we supposed to do? 
have a dragon orb, but no water dragon for it to c control. No matter how hard Himiko tries to locate on the island, without that dragon, there's no way we can break the barrier. Hey, something's coming! Amaterasu, <laughs> origin of all that is good and mother to us all. What the heck? I'm afraid there's no time left for me to speak now. But I do not need that to thank you. I do need... What for? And who are you anyway? I am King Wada. The 27th King of the Dragonians. King of the Dragonians, Wada. King of the Dragonian? So then, you were the water dragon? It was I, the water dragon, god of the sea, ruler of the deep. Oh, great god Amaterasu. As you well know, there are ill omens heralding the coming of great strife throughout the world. Even the Dragonians have suffered under the forces of darkness. They seek to prevent me from using my power. The power to break the barrier that protects Oni Island. I wage battle against the Dark Lord and consume the Dark Lord instrument he wielded. But the instrument lodged in my stomach drove me, drove me mad. The instrument of the Dark Lord? You mean this thing? Yes, the Fox Rods. Without the Fox Rods, the Dark Lord has limited power. Now all of the monsters are doing everything they can to locate them. I see. They're like a key to his power or something. I can rest easy knowing they are in your hands, Amaterasu. I also ask that you give my wife, Otohime, the Dragon Orb. It is the heart of the dragon. It will bring peace to my people. Alas, my end is near. I have slain many innocents while in the grip of madness. I pray that their souls may rest in peace in these watery depths. These deep blue waters the people of Hiroshima Coast so dearly love. Farewell, Amaterasu. I shall pray for your good fortune. And, wow, I killed a dragon! I don't know if I can live myself now. But still, I just gotta find an orange mirror because this episode is dragged on for 53 minutes! I know some of that's gonna be cut, but still! I might split this episode into two parts because otherwise it'd just be a pain for me to edit. I don't know. I'll probably ask, but I'll probably expect this episode to be split into two parts. So I'm just gonna go find an orange mirror and end this recording session. Bam! Amaterasu, you made it. <laughs> Amaterasu is just the coolest. The best he did. I saw the crazed water dragon thrashing about from the shore. So I hurried here to the dragon palace just in case. Ah, uh, you don't have to worry about us. I mean, nothing can stop old Nami here. Not fire, not water, not... Tell me, Amaterasu, what happened to the water dragon? Did he reveal the secret of penetrating Oni Island? I killed him. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not nice to interrupt. I was on a roll, babe. Anyway, the water dragon was actually the dra Onian king. He turned into a dragon to protect the dragon palace. He even snatched these fox rods from their boss. You found the fox rods. I don't think of it. Aren't you looking for these, babe? Aren't they the ultimate weapon against the evil beings? Hey, wait a sec. What about what you said about the fox rods? 
You know, I felt the ship sinking before they reached Himiko. Why we search that stupid ship if they were weren't even really there? If you're still upset that I put you in danger, I'm sorry. But time is of the essence now. Give me the fox rod, quickly. You just hold your melons, babe. I mean, if those monsters are frantically searching for them, whoever has them will have a huge bullseye on their back. <laughs> Amaterasu? I hope you know what you're doing, you big furball. It's an eerie light they give out. It's somehow alluring. With this, my holy powers will reach their limit. I can destroy every last demon there is. Protecting Queen Himiko with this great power, that is my duty. Don't worry, Amaterasu. I must hurry back to the city now. I shall honor my duty with my life. With your life? Don't go getting yourself killed, babe. Ah, uh, she's gone. And so am I. It's gone on for almost an hour. I'm gonna split this up. Oh, hey, Amy. Quit space now. We gotta deliver that dragon orb. We got from the ground dragon to Otahime right away. I well, can't count on the power of the water dragon anymore, but the Dragonians still consider the dragon orb as their treasure. You better return it to them. Yep, and I'm ending this two-parter right here because I know I'm splitting it up into two parts, so I'm ending it off here. So next time on Let's Play Okami Blind, we're going to head out and get, return the dragon orb. See you guys next time. Take care.